Hey everybody, I hope you guys are all healthy and safe. So I have something pretty fun and short today and also pretty practical. So here it is. This is the world's smallest portable translator. It's the Time Kettle Zero translator. So this is actually the holder. The translator is actually this thing. This little mic looking thing that you just plug into your phone. Now I, this one's the iPhone version of the Lightning cable, but there's also an Android version with a USB-C plug. So this thing sells for 80 bucks and let me show you how it works. So basically you just plug it straight into your phone like so and then you open up the Time Kettle app which is the company's uh, own app and from here you will have an actual, let me make the screen a little bit dimmer. And then right here you will see an actual interface where you can begin immediately translating. Now Time Kettle has a history of making portable translators so they know what they're doing. So basically this thing supports 40 different languages. And you know, not just different languages like English and Chinese, but also the different dialects within that language. For example, I speak Chinese, but I actually speak Cantonese, which is a southern dialect uh, from Guangzhou, Guangdong. It's different from the Totonghua Mandarin that most people in China and Taiwan speaks. So in addition to English and Chinese, you obviously have French, Spanish, Portuguese, German, Italian, Russian, Arabic, Japanese, Korean, Indonesian, Hindi, Thai, Vietnamese, Malay, Finnish. So basically 40 languages that covers most of the world, like Czech, Polish, Hungarian. Let's try Cantonese really quick. So we'll do Cantonese to English. Okay, now I've set up the translation to pick up Cantonese on this end and I'll put English on this end. Now, interestingly, Time Kettle suggests that you hold this translator a certain way. You have to hold it kind of flat and also give it a little bit of space between you, you and your mouth because the point is that you're having a face-to-face -face conversation with someone. This end is my language, that end is the other person's language. And I guess the mics here will be able to pick up directional mics to pick up language one way here and another language there. So the point is you don't have to do, like you talk like this and then you hand the phone over and put it at that person's mouth. You're supposed to just keep it in between the two people. So let's test it right now. I'm gonna speak Cantonese. I'm gonna ask, have you eaten yet? Have you eaten? Okay, it actually came through. Hoi bin do. Where to? Okay, I asked Hoi bin do, which is where are you going? It says where to. So it seems to be accurate when it's Cantonese to English. Now let's do the other way. What do you want to do on Saturday? So see, it's picking up. Okay, that's very good too. That is um, Cantonese, so it's very slangy. It's quite different from Potonghua, which would be like, you know, a lot more formal and straightforward. Now let's test Korean. I only know one phrase in Korean, but let's do it anyway. So now let's output Korean to English. Kamsamida. Thank you. So I said Kamsamida, which is Korean for thank you, and it translated i have to thank you. Now I'm gonna play someone speaking another language on YouTube and see if it can translate over. So by the, I'm fine. And when people? Okay, so that came out accurate. So by the, and it translated to fine. Let's test one more phrase in Thai. Chai. Yes. Chai. Yes. English it is. So it translate yes. chai to yes. Yes, I have. Now let's do Spanish. Perdone, ¿cuál es la tarifa? Excuse me, Excuse what's the me, fee? What is the fee? Perdone, what is the fee? What is la we'll test one more language. Let's just find a Japanese speaker. <laughs> okay, so I can't read Japanese, but if you do, can you tell me if this right here is an accurate translation of my favorite food in Japan. Obviously it cut off half a sentence because she was speaking very fast. Now obviously Google Translate, the app will also translate very well and that app is free to use. But one of the benefits of using the Time Kettle Zero is that it's a free flowing conversation. You don't have to keep pausing in between. You can just go back and forth speaking on different ends. 
Okay, so to demonstrate how I'm just going to have a conversation with myself in English and Cantonese. So because, you know, I'm only one person, I'm going to flip the phone around because the, so to trick the phone to thinking it's two person on each side because the mic actually does just pick up one direction. So we'll start with English, which is on this end. So technically the English speaker should be here. So I'll just flip the phone around like this. Hey, what's up, man? How are you doing today? So it's a little bit clunky, but this is a literal translation of Hey, what's up, man? How are you doing today? There's nothing. You've eaten yet. So same thing. That's exactly what I said. Like, not much going on. Have you eaten yet? In Cantonese. And you notice how fast I spoke and this picked up right away and it came out in English right away too. Do you want to go ride bicycles tomorrow? Tomorrow I'm not free. So that was mostly translated. I said tomorrow I'm not free. How about the day after tomorrow? So I missed that part. But you see how I was able to have a free flowing Cantonese to English conversation if the person was standing right in front of me directly. And you can do this offline too if you download the language packs for Cantonese beforehand. So if I wanted to have the same conversation on Google Translate, I cannot because Google Translate does not support Cantonese, only Mandarin. So that's immediately like a shortcoming that Google does not have as many languages supported as time Kettle's software. And on top of that, if you wanted to translate conversationally back and forth in Google Translate, it's you just have to constantly record and then hit a button to stop recording and you also have to pass the phone to put the phone by that person's mouth and then back to your mouth and maybe you don't want to do that right now when you're spitting potentially COVID-19 air into the phone. So this, you know, it's a little bit, it makes it a little bit more practical and more free-flowing conversation but at the same time you do have to pay 80 bucks for this so a lot of people won't find much use for this but if you are someone who does a lot of uh, business meetings with clients who do not speak your language maybe this will come into handy you can do multi-party translation too according to the software i've not tested it yet but apparently you see how there's like four directional mics here so apparently you can plug this in put it on a desk and have four people one in front of you, one to your left, one to your right, all four of you guys can speak four different languages and it will all come out. I mean, that sounds kind of hilarious actually, like uh, like a skit, like an SNL skit, but hey, it probably works. I have no, I can't test it, obviously. I don't have three other people here who speak completely different languages. So anyway, that's about it for this quick look at the Time Kettle Zero Mini Ultra Portable Translator. It comes into this little card case that you snap it in and you can put this into a purse in your pocket or into your wallet if your wallet is thick enough once again it's 80 bucks so that's it for now i'm gonna have more videos coming up tomorrow it's the oppo Reno 4 pro and i have the oneplus nord and a couple of other devices too so thanks for watching this video please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching